here we are back at the coin shooting field. Me and my son James. James is using the Vista Gold. Um, I've actually read the instructions now so I know how to set it up. And he's got a good signal here so we've dug down. He's almost to it and we're going to see what it is. Nearly there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! It's an old penny. It'd give a great signal. Very good. Can you see the date on it at the bottom? Just near your thumb. Isn't it? It'll say 19 something. 19. Six. Let's have a look. 1916. 1916. Yeah. Pretty old. George V penny. And I've also got a signal on the E-track over here. We've dug down and by the looks of it we've got another what's that one? That's George the Sixth penny on edge at approximately nine inches deep. I still give a pretty good signal even though it was on edge. James has got a good signal here with a Vista Gold. Keep on going over it James just to see where it is. Okay. Alright, so we want to be about here. Now I haven't checked this with the E-Track. Really there should be no need to. We've got quite a high level of discrimination dialed in on the gold. So hopefully this should be a good target. The soil looks nice. Seem to get this sort of nice looking soil when there's a coin there, so I'm hoping it's a coin. That looks like a coin ball to me. Let's see what's in it then. Another big penny. Another George V one. Ugh. We're heading right up the top of this hill now going to some pasture land that used to get ploughed years ago. <sighs> God, I'm unfit. <sighs> we, uh, we detected up there the last time we were here and we found a couple of hammered coins. Something that we've never done in this bottom field that we've just walked through. We really came here today, by right, tonight, to go to the top fields. So getting those few coins in the bottom field was just a bit of a bonus. <sighs> there. We're up the top now, just out of this little bit of wood is the field that we're going in. You can see what sort of a, well, you can't really see. But when these trees weren't here, this would have been a hell of a good vantage point. Right down in the valley. Just got a signal reading 1038 there. And I've just pulled up the biggest musket ball that I've ever seen. <laughs> it's massive. Put it in your hand, James. This gives some idea of scale. It's like a little cannonball, that. We've been joined by Jimmy. Well, actually, we were joined about an hour and a half ago by Jimmy, but none of us have managed to find anything, so there isn't much footage. <laughs> Apart from the Until musket ball. Uh, Jimmy has got what looks like a coin ball. Maybe button, just the same. And it looks like a big manky button. <laughs> it's a big, dirty, big button. There's no DDL left on it. Still, there we are. Better than note, I suppose. It is. This is a, quite a nice button that Jimmy found. Well, it's still quite a nice design on it. Turn it over, please, James. Let's have a look. Pretty good condition. Jimmy's got a possible coin ball here, or a button ball. <laughs> button is the case may be, I think. <laughs> yeah, That's <okay>. a button. <laughs> yep, surely all those people that were wearing buttons would have been having coins dropped as well. Like. Jimmy's got another signal here. Says it's a good one. It's obviously dug pretty close to it. 
Another button like. You know what? I'll have a coin this time. By God, it's black. There's a coin. Whose is that one then? As good as my eyes aren't, because you might, you might even see better on the camera what it is. Yeah, I'll have a look with, with my eyes. I'll get good eyesight, which is remarkable, really, when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a young head, Victoria. God, it's worn, though. It? Hellish worn. Oh, yeah, you can't see a bit of detail from over here. Jimmy's just found a coin. We've just dropped back down into this coin shooting field because we weren't getting many signals up in the in the top pasture. I've also got a signal. It's a pound. A little threepenny bit. Yeah, it looks like a pound coin, doesn't it? Yeah. If, if you just see that bit there. Let's have a look then. It does look like a pound, doesn't it? Yeah, it's about as thick as a pound coin. James has just found a coin with a Vista Gold. I think it's a... Uh, um... It's... Oh, it's a modern two shillings. Modern two shillings. If that was an older one, it'd be called a florin, and it'd be silver. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I thought yeah, it was a florin. Same size. Well, it is it's still a florin, but unfortunately it's a newish one. Let's put this back and we'll find a silver one, shall we? Well, we're just about to come away. I've got a signal, a very iffy signal, and a dug a what looks like a George V sixpence. So I was beginning to think we weren't going to get any silver for the day, and we have got silver. Get in. Yeah, get in indeed. There you go. See, it's got the lion on it. Mm hmm. Well, it's almost dark now, and I've just dug up a coin ball. It just remains to be seen what sort of coins in it. Have you found it? Yeah, it's just a. Is it a half penny? Yeah. It is, yeah. Too dark to see what it is though. <laughs> but it's another coin anyway. Three buttons there. And this is between me and James. A few old pennies. A bit, a couple of half pennies, huge musket ball, and a silver sixpence. And Jimmy Coinmaster McCall has got six pounds all by himself. So, on a scale of things, Jimmy did best. But that's not bad. Well, back in the house now. I've given that sixpence a bit of a clean up with bacon soda. And it's come up not too bad. 1927. George V. Not bad at all, pretty good condition. So that was probably the highlight of the hunt. Hopefully there'll be some better finds next time. Thanks for watching.